hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to create shared transitions inside our xamarin forms app so whenever i click on each item inside my collection view then it will give us very nice shared transitions you can see over here so let's implement this shared transitions inside our xamarin forms app by adding the nuget package that is shared transition plugin so this is the plugin that we need to use inside our shared android and ios project that's all now we don't need any platform specific implementation inside our android and ios project this is actually how we implement shared transition navigation page so from main page i get navigated to main page details it is now supported for main page going towards the detail page and right now the shared navigation page uh, there is a limitation inside android where we can't use shared transition navigation whenever we have tab page inside our master detail page so here it's a simple collection view which has item source you can see over here and these are some properties that are being used inside our collection view so whenever that collection view selection gets changed then this event is going to be triggered inside the code behind of main page you can see over here my item selection changed so this is going to be triggered whenever our collection view items are clicked or selected then it has collection view items layout as a vertical span as two you can see over here we have two span left and right so inside the item template we have data template and here i have arranged it inside this tag layout that is our image so here one image is used with shared transition transition name and transition group so this is my transition initialization that is really required for our image to get translated towards our details page so this is my item collection which will get all its item from our view model as it's a mbvm approach you can see over here we can go to the details then this is the item collection which will get delivered towards our main page.xaml so this bindable object object is defined inside our xamarin forms you can see over here so using this we don't need any property change event then we are going to set these properties of the items towards our main page and then whenever the items is selected then it will go to the details page so before that we need to add those items inside the item collection so that we'll actually see all those items inside our main page at first so here are the list of images which will be added you can use url too if required these are the static images that i am using as of now then after our items collection gets loaded from here so that will be like a source and this is our destination so the destination will collect its image url from the item collections now these two lines of code that is name and id group is going to act like as our identifier for each item selection so whenever our items get selected then using this line of code will get the selected id which get translated towards our details page with the help of this id whenever that item gets selected then it will come over here then with the help of x name that image is going to be shared as well as the label is going to get all its content from the code behind this is the initialization for transition.name so this name is going to be same as this name so that we are going to collect that image and then going to tell that with the help of id please share my image from my main page towards my main page details that's all we are going to add this namespace so that our main page detail will understand what that shared transition is this is how actually we are going to implement our image source if you have any confusion regarding shared transition please let me know in my comment section down below i'll try to figure it out that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials